Okay, so this time uh, we are going to learn the technique of how to uh, export Rhino model into a 3D printable file. So uh, we are going to go to uh, Rhino. Uh, Rhino and um, so now uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we are going to um, so first uh, what you need to check is click on this object and uh, around the uh, at the properties uh, make sure this is closed solid poly surface and sometimes um, so the basic um, idea of uh, 3d printing is that um, your file needs to be configured in certain way. And uh, this is a very simple um, checklist. So um, your file needs to be closed mesh. So uh, if you have closed poly surface, you can convert it into closed mesh. Everything needs to be closed. Sometimes uh, some parts of the model is not capped and uh, so uh, and if it's open it's not going to print so you have to identify and find the edge that is open no self-intersection uh, which I'm going to talk later and minimum thickness should be 0 0.05 inch okay so uh, the thinnest part of your model should be uh, 0 0.05 um, so there is a concept of intersection and self-intersection in the world of 3D printing. If there is uh, two solid objects uh, intersecting with each other, it's okay. But there is, uh, you cannot have, uh, within one object, uh, you cannot have um, part that is self-intersecting. So what this means is this is outside and this is inside becomes outside and outside becomes inside. So it's very confusing for 3D printer. So uh, please try not to, uh, please try to avoid uh, self-intersection. So uh, what you're going to do is click on this and uh, type mesh. And uh, when you do mesh, uh, make it the highest number uh, available. Okay, so, um, and the mesh, uh, command is going to just draw the mesh object on top of poly surface on the right exact right place which is kind of annoying but uh, you have to select the mesh object and isolate it so now when you click on it uh, it says closed close mesh uh, it, it could be fine okay so sometimes uh, for example um, I am going to make an example of um, some parts of the object uh, is not I'm just gonna trim and then click on this. Okay. Um, and I'm going to act like I didn't know that. And uh, when I go to shaded and uh, it says open poly surface. Okay, I don't know where it is open. So you can just look around the model and find it. If you can find it, that would be fine. But if you cannot find it, uh, the command to uh, find it is show edges show edges uh, command uh, I guess I can do this. Okay. so show edges and then click on it and then it will show naked edges which is open edge uh, in this um, pink color so uh, what I'm going to do then is to um, loft or edge surf loft between this edge and this edge and this edge and this edge this edge and this edge, okay, and then uh, join this um, hole with this, and then it's going to say close uh, solid body surface, so you can mesh it and uh, do it, okay. So uh, that would be good. So, um, so after this, you can click on this and uh, go to file and export selected and uh, then export this as a, um, your STL file, STL. So um, STL, stereolithography. So um, we can base there too. And um, uh, you can just say, 
uh, the smaller number binary is fine. Um, so export it. Okay, so that's how you would export uh, the, uh, your Rhino file uh, as STL file. There is a um, self intersection. Uh, when that happens, uh, you should you actually have to um, explode the model and uh, rebuild that part again. Okay, thank you.